Hi everyone! This channel is about wedding planning. I hope I can help you to plan a wedding of your dreams. Today I want to talk about the best months to choose to celebrate your wedding. And just to make it clear, we are not going to talk about the signs or about any astrological or numerological forecasts, but we will look at your wedding day simply from a practical point of view. In other words, let's discuss which season to choose for the celebration. What are the advantages and disadvantages of each of them? Let's start with winter. So, what are the advantages of a winter wedding? First of all, if you plan a wedding in the country where in winter you get some snow, then it is a unique opportunity to use snow as part of your decor and to take wonderful pictures with a backdrop of snow drifts. Or, if you are lucky, even pictures with snowflakes falling from the sky. In my opinion, Snow can be really a highlight that will add an unforgettable atmosphere to your wedding day. I would also like to know that in winter the prices are the lowest almost for all services needed to organize a wedding. In terms of money, this is the most attractive season. Lower prices are typically not only for the services of various vendors, but also for example for a wedding dress. By the way, you shouldn't think that there is a limited choice of dresses in winter. This is not really the case. You can find a dress for every taste and at a very good price. Another advantage of a winter wedding is that you have a lot more choices of venues for the event, because this is the low season and you can easily choose a restaurant according to your taste and budget. It is also very important that there are no crowds of tourists if you decide to take a small photo shoot on the street. There will be no strangers who will look at you intentionally or get into a picture or video clip. Also, normally the register office is less crowded, so that you can better enjoy your wedding registration process as well. Let's move on to the disadvantages. So, what are the disadvantages of organizing a wedding in winter? First of all, of course, it is impossible to spend the whole day outside in an open area so you should immediately refuse on outdoor registration ceremony, outdoor wedding reception, and even sometimes on a photo shooting outside. In general, it depends very much on the weather on a particular day. Plus, if you are completely unlucky with the weather, then in the worst case scenario, mood and slash can await you, so a long bridesmaid dress, of course, is at risk in winter. You will also have to take care of extra warm clothes. Accordingly, you will need to think over you look more carefully so that you don't only feel warm but also look appropriate, beautiful and harmonious with a wedding dress. So most likely you will need to go for an additional expense items if you don't have anything suitable for the cold season in your wardrobe. In winter we are likely to get thick, so many guests and you yourself may encounter this problem. And this of course must be taken into account when organizing a wedding in winter. Do not forget that in winter we have short daylight hours, so the timing of your wedding day will need to be tailored to the thing, so that you have time to take photos in daylight. Now let's move on and talk about the spring. In spring prices are of course still quite low. It is a bit difficult to talk about spring because the situation in March and May is somewhat different, but in general the prices are still lower. And there is still no such a demand as in summer. If the wedding is planned for May, you may be very lucky with the weather and so that the wedding will turn out no worse than in summer and the price will be still lower. Plus, in my opinion, the main advantage of a spring wedding is that nature awakens at this moment. Pictures will be full of fresh greenery and this of course gives a special atmosphere and a special impression of your day. Unfortunately or fortunately, there are enough shortcomings in the spring too. Since the weather is very changeable, you never know what awaits you in which months in the spring. Everything is unpredictable. As I said, the weather can be very good and it will seem like summer. Or it could be very rainy and cold, so it is always a lottery. And another feature of a wedding in spring, don't forget that many people are allergic to flowering, even grass. Therefore, if there are people suffering from allergies among your guests, then this should be taken into account, because in the spring this all escalates and no one will be able to fully enjoy your holiday. 
The main advantage of a summer wedding, of course, is the weather. The sun is shining, it is very warm, and you have a great opportunity to have a buffet and a ceremony outdoor. And not even just organize everything, for example, in a park, but think about arranging a holiday on the shores of a lake, river, or sea, depending on what is there in your area. Also, in summer, of course, we have the largest variety of different regional fruits and flowers, so you not only have a huge selection and everything is easily accessible, but also the prices are much lower than during the year for such things. If the wedding, for example, takes place in a park or you plan to take a photo session there, then you in general have a living decor since a lot of things bloom in the park in the summer, various flowers and shrubs, so you will not have problems to choose a background for a photo shooting. The main, in my opinion, advantage of a wedding in the summer is long daylight hours. You have a lot of light hours in order to find time for a photo session and for a walk if you plan to do it, and for an opera, for example. Accordingly, you do not need to fit into any rigid frameworks. You certainly, let's say, benefit from long daylight hours in the summer. Let's talk about the disadvantages of a wedding in summer. Firstly, it is of course a high season. Correspondingly high prices, a lot of people, all venues and contractors are busy, so you need to book everything in advance. Plus, since summer is really high season, the same wedding planner holds weddings probably almost every weekend or even more often. Therefore, for your particular wedding, he or she will devote a little less time, I think, than if the wedding would be in winter or you would be the only one for the whole month, for example. The same is true for a decorator, a photographer, a videographer, so of course you will have to wait a lot longer for your pictures than, for example, in winter. These are all such nuances that you should consider if they are important to you. In summer, many people plan a vacation, so I would advise you send wedding invitation in advance too, so that it doesn't happen that people go on vacation and unfortunately will not be able to attend your celebration. Also, in summer, it can be too hot, speaking of the weather. Of course, this is an inconvenience, especially for the bride. Makeup can leak, you should really think about a professional makeup artist to prevent this from happening. It is important to remember about the insects, because in summer, of course, there are flies and midges, as well as wasps and bees. And when holding a wedding outside, insects can really cause inconvenience to both you and your guests. Finally, let's talk a little bit about autumn. Autumn is one of my favorite seasons. Colorful foliage creates a unique decor and, in my opinion, autumn pictures with colorful maple leaves look like very interesting and stylish. Prices in autumn are normally lower than in summer, so by organizing a wedding in September or October you could already save some money. Vendors are becoming less busy, although at present, as far as I know, Many people postpone wedding from summer to autumn because the weather is not that hot anymore and they want to capture autumn leaf fall, get unique pictures, emotions and memories for a lifetime. Speaking about the disadvantages of the autumn season, I would like to mention that the weather becomes luxurious again, especially if it is October. Daylight hours are getting shorter, so of course this will add some nuances to your wedding day planning as well. I hope that my thoughts on wedding planning for this or that season will help you to decide when you want to organize your celebration, and I will be glad if you write your opinion about when you would like to celebrate your wedding or what season you have already celebrated in. What are the pros and cons you identified for yourself in a particular month or season of the year? Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you are interested in this content. Good luck with your wedding preparation. Bye-bye!